I'm going to show you how to configure issue M. And we need a separate WordPress installation to do this. In this case, we've set up uh, a couple of pages here. The current issue page, which shows the current issue selected, the archives or past issue page, and then we have our news blog just living on the recent news page. And that's WordPress controlled. So let's load up markup so I can mark this page a little bit and show you that on the current issue page we have three short codes. One short code controls the large feature rotator and you can control the size and you can control the captioning on this page there. The second short code um, sets the feature thumbnail um, segment and you can have one, two, or three short codes. And the third short code controls all the stories here. So, and you can order these any way you want. If you wanted to just have stories but no features, that's fine. If you just wanted to have features and thumbnails, that's fine too. And the thumbnails will wrap. So you can control the, how many thumbnails go across. In this case, we've limited to three. You can go um, two, you can go three, you can go four, and then they'll just wrap down as you add uh, feature thumbnails. The uh, two other elements are widgets. So we have the um, cover widget, which I'm going to show you, which shows you what issue you're in at all times, um, gives you the ability to choose a, a downloadable version of your publication. And then the, the other widget is, um, let's take a quick look here, it's called the Issue M Article List Widget. So the cover widget we, we name Issue M Active Issue Widget. So if you look in the dashboard, you'll see that. And then the actual navigation is the Issue M Article List Widget. Okay, now let's go into the dashboard and actually set this up. So after you install the plugin, you'll get a um, custom post type here called Articles. And we're going to start by going to the Help screen first. Okay, here's where your short codes are. And this is going to be the current issue page. You're going to have your, your uh, Issue M Articles short code, uh, which shows all your articles for that issue. You have your uh, Featured Rotator short code, which will drop in your large feature rotator. And then you have your featured thumbnails short code, which will drop in those uh, smaller images. Um, okay. Now, <clears throat> on the archives page, you'll want to drop in the issue M archives short code. And all you have to do is cut and paste these actual uh, short codes, and that includes the brackets. Now, let's go look at the pages themselves, and we can see how this works. So, if we go to the um, current issue page and take a look at it, you'll see that all we've done is dropped in the featured rotator shortcode first, and then we've dropped in the um, featured thumbnail uh, shortcode second. And note that there's a, a code here that you can adjust here. And this sets the maximum image images across to three. So no more than three thumbnails will go across in the, in the body of your um, current issue. And then we have the article short code which shows um, all your articles there. And you can see they stack big big rotators first, thumbnail second, articles third. And of course if you just want to have your articles uh, just just use this one short code. If you want thumbnails and articles just use these two short codes. If you just want to do features you can just use that one short code. And of course you can put whatever kind of content you want above these short codes or below these short codes. And that's that's the whole idea. So that's pretty flexible. Okay, let's look at the archives page. Uh, I think you're getting the idea here. And we'll go to past issues and you see that all we have is the um, archive uh, short code here. And in this case we have issue order, uh, which I'm going to show you in a second, which determines how the um, the archive cover images are actually ordered. Okay, what I'm going to actually going to do here, I'm going to open up here, we're going to go into past issues and you'll see the the covers here, the cover images, and that determines what order from left to right and then top to bottom these covers appear. Okay, let's go back to articles and just back to this help screen for a second. On the bottom of the help screen you'll find some uh, code which gives you an idea of how to uh, otherwise order your cover images if you choose to do so. Alright, now we go to settings. So jump into settings and you'll have your, uh, this is where your API 
uh, key goes, um, your page for articles. So you want to choose which page your uh, current issue is going to live. So simply select that. Your CSS style. If you choose to create a style sheet for yourself, you can choose it here. Uh, otherwise, it'll just choose the, defo the default style that you see. PDF download link title. Okay, so you can control the um, the title of your uh, download link. So in other words, if you have a PDF that you're going to upload with each issue, um, you, you can include or not the uh, words download PDF or however you want to, uh, this to display. But by default, it says download PDF in parentheses. Uh, PDF only. If you are publishing an uh, issue that only has a PDF and doesn't have the web version of the of the article, then you can control what that says. And so in this case, if you click on this, there's no web issue. It's just a PDF that'll pop up, and then your uh, it says PDF only here. Okay. When you do open the PDF, you have a choice. Do you want it to open in a new window or tab? This is the default setting, or in the same window or tab your cover image size. The default settings for your cover image, which is your this image right here, um, the jellyfish image, and this cover image um, can be sized uh, accordingly. Your large uh, slideshow or feature rotator image can also be sized any way you want it, and your thumbnail, the feature thumbnail images can also be resized any way you like it. But these are the default sizes uh, and this is and that's what you're looking at. If there's no issue, if there's no image selected, um, you can choose to have a default issue uh, pop up, and you can just browse to do that. Uh, now, show byline for feature rotator. Okay, author credit is given, um, uh, can be given in the featured rotator and in the thumbnails. And let's go take a look at how that works. So, let's go into the uh, June issue here. And here's Pete's Lion Story by Peter Erickson. And that's the uh, by Peter Erickson is the byline or the author credit. And the same goes for the thumbnails. You can have um, author credit here by who's the story written by or the article written by um, or not. So if you don't want that, just uncheck the box. If you want to leave them, that's fine. And by the way, the author credit is pulled from the WordPress users um, database. All right, and then we can display the author name as first name, last name, <coughs> excuse me, first name, uh, last name, or display name. If you want to use uh, global WordPress category and tags for both posts and articles, uh, then you can just check this off and they'll, they'll all be the same. And when somebody pulls a category or tag, it'll pull all the um, categories and tags from your uh, blog posts and your articles regardless of issue. Hit save settings and that's pretty much what you need to do to set it up. Now that you know how to set up the current issue and past issues with the short codes and manage the size of the images, let's take a look at the two widgets that you get uh, so people know what uh, issue they're on and um, a navigation widget. So all we have to do is head into the uh, standard WordPress, WordPress widgets area and you'll see that there are two uh, widgets that are set up here. The issue M active uh, issue which is the uh, which issue is active, or the cover widget as I like to call it, and that looks like this here. So once you drop this in the sidebar and people click through stories, regardless of which story they go into, they know which issue they're in. Uh, the other widget is the article list or the main navigation. So if I, um, put, if I drop that widget in, then I'm going to get the main uh, navigation here uh, for uh, each issue. And there's a little configuration. If you drop the box down here, you can display the issue title or not, the cover image or not, if you have no images, uh, and include the PDF link here. And for the article list, uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, you, uh, we have the number of articles to show. And by default, it's minus one, which is all articles and all categories. So, and then the article format here, if you look at this code, you'll see that it, it'll display the category, uh, name, the title, uh, text, and the teaser text by default. So if you look at this and you go back here, you'll see um, the
the category name, and then the title, whoops, the title, text, and if there's teaser text, you can add that here as well. And again, if you don't want any of this, you can just delete it out of the widget and it won't show. So let me show you something else you can do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drag in a couple of widgets I've created. And let's say you want to, instead of having um, your, your categories and then your titles and then your stories, let's say you just want your category and all your stories within that category and then the next category title and all your stories uh, within that category, then this is how you do it. So I have a couple of widgets I created. I'm just going to pull them in here for you. And we'll drop them in right underneath. And I'm going to do, I'm going to show you two categories here. Um, bring, bring this up. Okay. So now what I've done is I've created um, two uh, lumped up two categories in the navigation. So I have the uh, category one and category two. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go back and just refresh this so you can see what the sidebar looks like now. So let's skip over the first uh, rendition. Now what I have here is I have category one and the title here and all the articles within that category lumped up. And then category uh, two here and all the articles in the category lumped up here. Now you can style this to make it look a little nicer, but that allows you to uh, lump all your stories within ca each category. So if this is the feature category, you can have all your feature stories in one place. If this is uh, um, uh, uh, you know, a different uh, department or, or category, you can lump all the stories in one place here. And how do we do that? Well, if you look at the um, settings in here, I have the category title here uh, we're going to show all the articles uh, within that category and then all you have to do is select um, which category it's going to be and what I did is if you notice I wiped out the category uh, code snippet up here so it's only showing uh, within that category all the titles and teasers of uh, all the articles in that one category and that's how you do that and it's the same setting with category number two in other words the title of the category going to show all the articles. Um, we've selecting category two and um, all we're showing are titles and teasers. So they, all the titles and all the teasers of all your articles show up in that one category. And you can have as many categories as you like, of course. Okay, that about concludes how to set up issue M for the first time and get you going.